Hey, what's good? I'm Mob Rule. I'm gonna cross the street with Jim. today with my beats how are you my friend good we have been this is like a long time coming right yeah like three years yeah back when i was doing the booking at the movement for kboo 90.7 fm right before was it right before the pandemic yep you were scheduled to come on the show literally the day everything shut down <laughs> the <Correct>. exact day <laughs> <laughs> so here we are uh we're meeting today in his uh studio here which is very nice by the way got a nice little collection of just about everything here what are you working on currently? Uh, shit, I, right before uh, you came here, I was whipping up this beat, uh, found a found a sample, and I just chopped it up, and I don't know, how, I, I don't know the song, because it's in a different language, but I, I made this out of it, uh, and uh, I use, a, for my DA, I use a Reason 12, and I made this. Oh. Uh. Yeah, bump it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. How long you been making beats? Uh, I've been making beats on and off since I was like a teenager. I started off making beats in a pirated version of Fruity Loops 3 at my friend's house. Like, allegedly? Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't on my computer, so I didn't do it. But uh, I, I used to go to, you know, I would go to uh, his house and uh, his mom wasn't around a lot, so, you know, we'd be like sitting there like smoking cigarettes out the window, making beats, doing, you know, be, you know, whatever. And uh, uh, I don't know. We, we, I just had fun with it, and uh, I, I I never thought like anything of it. And then I yeah you know, uh, I remember one day like he was having a party, and I was in the back like drinking, and uh, his, his cousin walks by, and he's like, "White boy, you make this beat?" I'm like, "Yeah." And then they like, "This is you know, I'm I'm 35, so like they, this is back when they like you know studio equipment wasn't as easy to get, so they like they wrote a rap, they recorded a rap song over it that night in in their closet. This beat I made with like a shitty like computer mic and like like a like a makeshift st uh, st uh, audio like studio with like fucking milk crates and shit and it was like a hyphy beat so we I, had a studio similar ours was made out of like egg camping foam that we put inside of a closet and thought it was the like the most maximum yeah. sound performance you could get yeah it's just funny <laughs> it's crazy like you don't see shit like that anymore because it's like bro you like I, I, it's there's nothing wrong with that i'm glad people can have access to equipment but it's like bro like that shit was really like i mean you know you, i would like to think some of the like headphone microphones are probably just as good as some of that standard crappy microphones that we were using back in the 90s so. i mean yeah I, I mean i had an artist <laughs> over looking at beats the other day that i'm doing a project with and you know, he was talking about how there's artists that like they just like pull out their damn phone and like record the whole thing on their phone and do all the layers and mixing on the and then they like mix, get it mixed and mastered and it's all done on their phone. And man, and there's been like big albums like that, like uh, what was it? Like that Freddie Gibbs album that was done on an iPad. Um, I forget uh, who was that? What producer was that? I, I don't remember, but big, big, I think it was Madlib. I, th I think, but I like all your equipment here too. What you got? Get the 404 here, right? Yeah. You just did this little kit accessory I saw you put on there. That was on one of your uh, Instagram uh, videos I watched. Yeah, I just got this thing like a couple weeks ago. I um, bought it off another friend's. Uh, you just got it? Yeah, bro. I just, I just got this in the last month, so I've just been learning this thing. I uh, I love the way it, you can like so like when it turns on, I just love the way it looks when it turns on. Is this the, the new one, the FX or whatever? The, they call? Uh, the MK2. Yeah. Ooh, this, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the new one. Yeah. That's the new one. Yeah, dope. So, How much did you get that for? Uh, I, got, bro, I got this for a steal. I got this for like, I got this for like four fifty. That's they, a deal. They go for like. That's a deal. Like I don't know. Look, things, like I barely know this thing. I'm, I'm pretty well. I'm pretty well versed at one of these. I know how to use them well. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, <laughs> is it? Yeah, 
that shit like that. Those are dope, yeah. Yeah, they're fun. Did you ever use the original 404? I did not. Uh, I've always been, a, like, <laughs> to be real, I've always been too poor to have equipment. <laughs> you know, like, I fucking had a... Uh, the, the, what I had for years was an Axiom 25, uh... They're like the keyboard? Yeah, 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 so a 25 key MIDI keyboard and allegedly pirated shit, <laughs> and, you know, uh, I, that's how I made music, cause I, my, that's how, what I could do. Quite the hat collection, you're a hat fan, I take it? Oh, yeah, dude, I fucking go nuts with that shit, I, it feels well. good. You know, yeah, there's actually, uh, I'm friends with, uh, uh, you probably heard of a local artist named Lord Lawrence. Lord Lawrence, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a homie. Like, I know him, uh, like, all the Opal Royalty dudes, I'm a, I'm a part of that, and, uh, I don't know, uh, like, it's kind of our little, like, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, it's like a collective, you know? It's, you and, go. uh, it was crazy. I hadn't seen him for a while during COVID. And he came over and he was like, you know, I know you're doing good, bro. And he pointed to my hat collection. And I, <laughs> and I was like, that's real shit. <laughs> well, here, speaking of hats, I got a little present for you. We bring everybody a gift. Uh, courtesy is the boy Lala. He's a fellow former artist or uh, active artist here in town. Yeah. He um, got you one of his new hats there. Yeah, I used to play open mics with this fool. Really? Yeah. Oh, tight. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, he used to, he used to play his, uh, he used to play his um, <coughs> ukulele at like open mics in downtown Vancouver all the time and sing Whoa. and sing rap. And I used to play like acoustic stuff with him. And my other buddy, Jeremy Robeson, who was in a, I don't know how, I, you, you, this is going way back. They haven't been a group in forever. There was a group called Music in General. Okay. And they were like a local poppy hip hop group. And uh, like they were all under the same management at some point way back in the day. When Lala Boy was first starting out. So. Also, I got you another little gift here. Yeah. For, the, for my big ball and <laughs> big ball and producer. Yo, th this is hilarious. That's how you know you're the shit. Yeah, dude. You, you just, got some toilet paper to clean it up. Wipe your ass with, <laughs> wipe your ass with the fucking... Bro, this is going over here. This is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, this is this producer from... Uh, I think he used to be from Seattle. He was in Texas now. And I love the way he does his... Uh, I love the way he does, uh, sells his beats online. He... Uh, it's he three crispy hundreds. That's like that's like his price is like three hundred. So he, he makes like merch that says three crispy hundreds. It's Johnny Slash. That dude's dope as fuck. Big up to Johnny Slash. Yeah, bro. Johnny Slash. Yeah, is Johnny Slash is the shit. Yeah, yeah bro. I'm watching. What, I, I pay attention to. Bro, I'm like I don't know, bro. Like it's like see, hip hop is like a weird thing because it's like I was watching Vinny a uh, Vinny Paz interview last night, and he was talking about like you can be humble, you know, but like. Like in hip hop, it's like it's always like it's like it's a competition. It's like oh, I got to be better than this person. It's like you don't have to shit on people to like, like to know you're good. Like I'm confident in my. Johnny story. Slash is a great example of someone who makes fantastic beats and also has a great delivery platform. Mm -hmm. His content is always very good. Yeah, and he, and he doesn't shit on people to do it. You know, and like I feel like there's a lot of artists that could learn from stuff like Actually, that. Actually, uh, Johnny, I purchased his uh, all oops all bangers album. Actually, I'll show a little. Yeah, 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 I've heard that. I'll show a little picture of that. Bing right next to here. That's my album that I picked up from him. That's uh, dope. Yeah, yeah. So I noticed here too. You got the little. You got the pocket operator? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't uh doesn't have any working batteries in it currently, but my homie David Yen uh, hooked this up for, uh, as a gift. It was a really nice gift. Uh they're fun. I have the uh, KO version of that. Uh, yeah, and then there's like the Street Fighter one. Yep. And, like there's so many. I got a lot of inspiration from uh, H N C Potter, I believe is his real name. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. see. I seen that. Yeah, or dude, NY, uh, NYC Potter, N Y C Potter. Yeah, I seen that. The Potter dude on uh, Instagram. The dude does crazy beats with <laughs> He's it. ill with. <laughs> He's so Ill. and then uh, what's that thing? This thing is so you can't just buy this in like a fucking music store in America. You have to like order this online. Germany. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's. I think they're out of New Zealand. They're called Sinstrom, mm -hmm. and they're uh, they, and this is called the Deluge. So. Uh, uh, on my Instagram, like I kind of, I don't, I don't do it every day, but like most days, I like to post the beats that I make. So I'll kind of like post one of my making my DAW and reason, and I'll post one I make on here. And uh, so this thing is like a synth. It's a, it's a beat maker. It's you can sample in it. You, you can DJ with it. You can do all this shit. Um, these are all beats I made. I'm just cycling through. I want to play. Let's see if I 
where this one beat is. I played with one I made recently. Um, I walked in the house here to show the one degree of separation from our show sometimes. And who greeted me at the door but... but Leafs. It was Leafs. It was, <laughs> yeah. was former guest Leafs. He's on his way currently to get his leg... Um, what is he doing to it? He's getting it... Uh, what, what are we... A bionic, bionic man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, he, he had a surgery, so they're, they're making sure that shit is... Uh, ho seeing how it's doing. It's been... Here's a little clip of Leafs getting picked up here at the house. Yeah. <laughs> by my by my dad or, or, or he, like he, you know like we're, we're we're all close like his mom you know his parents know my parents and you know I don't know we're, we're we're friends he was my roommate for like a year he, him and my life partner all lived together so we're, we still hang out all the time but so this is a uh, this is the deluge uh, so see low so like what's crazy about this thing is, is like so like these are like these are all the different layers mm -hmm. so it's like that's a layer. That's a layer, that's a layer, and like they all have different sounds, so then you just. Oh, then you program, I see. Yeah, and then you can like do shit live with it, like you can do like a stutter, so like. That's right. You could, like go into it and like go into a straight up different beat right off the bat, like never it, ending. You can just yeah. keep going and going. Yeah, just, yeah you do, as long as it's got batteries. And the cool thing about this too, like I was, I, I love this company. They have a cool little like, uh, like a. A community around it like people are super nice like uh if you're having like a problem the people that run the company like will the, the, like the people that like run the company will talk to you like uh people in the community will help you out with stuff and then like it's cool because it's got like an internal got, like a speaker in when you're not plugged into the speakers it's got oh, an internal cool. speaker it's got a mic where you can like record straight into it does a bunch of stuff it's just it's fun do you have any gear that you don't have yet that you want you know, um, maybe like at some point, I mean, I mean, I don't know, the SP404 kind of does what an MPC does. Like I, the MPC is just so classic though. Like just like they're dope, right? Like I know, I know you got one. I got one. But I like, like I, I, but, I've had a few in my lifetime. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Like, I don't know. It would be dope to have one, but like these kind of also do what an yeah, MPC this is, does. This is a very powerful piece of machine right here. And believe it or not, you know, I said, if I had one of these things, maybe 15, 20 years ago, just that basic piece of equipment, that's what we all wanted. Yeah. A sampler. We wanted a way to break stuff up, and now, look, you can get it in the size of a calculator, so. Totally. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, and it's, and, and it's like, you can you can chop beats up on a fucking app, you know? It's like, anyway, even, like, fucking do, like, like some game, bro, like, everybody always talks about, like, bro, like. There's a little sticker or a magnet for your. Oh, thank you. I'll slap that on, I'll slap that on one of the speakers. Um, you yeah, know, it's like, it, the, honestly, like, they make, like, bro, like, here, like, this is saved. Like, this is how brainless they make sampling. You're, this is gonna piss old heads off so bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some games. The original VST is just a stack of records from your uncle's closet. I think that's how we all learned to sample. I feel like. Yep. And it's graduated to. You can buy actual packs and programs that just come with samples on them. Yeah. So I still dig. Like I, I just don't vinyl dig. Uh, I, I would love to vinyl dig don't have the money to vinyl dig. I have a vinyl collection, but I choose to spend my money on vinyl I want to listen to, not not sample. I mean, I mean the the, the music I sample I would also listen to, but you know, some maybe I'll get there one day. But, you know, you know, but I I just scour YouTube and this morning I got was talking to uh, Rappy Dusky from PDX Radio. Yeah. If you're familiar with Rappy Dusky. I am, yeah. He's going to start to put together a list of some of the instrumentalists from around town and maybe put together a smooth instrumental hour um, on his program. So for all my instrumentalists out there and rappers and producers and singers, submit your music to prettydopeexperience at gmail.com. And if you have your ducks in a row, 
uh, Rappy will play you, and you get credited for that. So. Oh, dope. I should hit him up. Yeah, hit him up for sure. That's yeah. at prettydopesubmissions at gmail.com. Also, big up to our monthly sponsor this month, Stacking Kicks. I got my Stacking Kicks jacket here. My favorite, favorite, favorite jacket. Get a lot of compliments on that. I think it's and fresh. Mr. Jefferson just opened his store at Lloyd Center. So you can stop in at Lloyd Center there to visit with Mr. Jefferson and pick up your Stacking Kicks gear. We did run through about 16 minutes pretty okay. quick. Yeah. You want to give some special love shout outs, PSAs on the way out of here before we wrap this up? Yeah, I want to shout out, uh, let's see here, Adam Cedar. He's a dude I'm doing a project with from Portland. Um, and I want to shout out Quinto. He's another dude I'm doing a project with. Uh, Scooter Rogers and I talk about doing a project that's still up in, you know, still that's down the pipeline. Uh, Glenn Waco and I have been talking about doing a project for five to seven years, but maybe, you know, if I see maybe it'll light a fire under his ass, but I understand, you know, he's, 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 you can't rush the process, but, uh, uh, man, uh, me, I want to shout out Colin Cooley, I want to shout out Lord Lawrence, I want to shout out Max, uh, I want to shout out, uh, not just in the hip hop scene, but dudes that support me that are in the hardcore punk scene, I want to shout out Slime. I want to shout. They're a hardcore band from Portland. I want to shout out uh, Time Void. They're a hardcore band from Portland. I want to shout out Four Dead Seasons. They're a hardcore band from Portland. Uh, and I want to shout out uh, Black Force Energy. They're a hardcore band from Portland. Because like for me, it's like you know, I, I grew up on hip hop, but I also grew up in the hardcore punk. Well, scene. if any of those bands out there are listening, get at me. Let's get you guys on the show. That'd be cool to, yeah, to they would, switch it up a little bit. Yeah, they would love that, bro. I, I could, yeah, I can make I could talk to them. I'm sure some of them would love to do that shit. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you so much for the tour of the space here. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Nice piece here. I'm very envious of that. You let me know when that comes up for sale or you get bored with it. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I will, but I, I, th I think I'm going to keep this. <laughs> uh, thanks for your time, G. Yeah, bro. Cheers. Cheers.